Hey dudes, we are checking out uh, the unit circle. Oh, I crossed it out. The unit circle today. Um, I'm hoping that you've seen it before, and uh, I'm just going to kind of go through it quickly. Um, a unit circle is a circle with a radius of one unit. One what? I don't know, kilometer, angstrom, inch. Who cares, right? All those radii are one. That's why it's called the unit circle, one unit. Um, therefore, if, if that's one unit, uh, the angle here, right, this angle, uh, if you talk about it, sine, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So, kato, so, sine opposite over hypotenuse. Um, the sine should be the opposite value, right? The, the, the side opposite of it, B. Uh, so there's B over the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is the radius, right? Which is just one. So um, the sine in this case should be B over one, or also known as B, right? The cosine, similarly, well, similarly should be the adjacent side, cos. Cosine is cosine is ka, right? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and here's the adjacent side. We're just going to call it A, and this is the hypotenuse. So really, the cosine of theta is uh, a, over, a over 1 or just a. Now, what's kind of neat about that is that this point that we've hit out here, its coordinates are its distance out, a, and its distance up, b. Right? Its coordinates are a, b. So if you think about it, uh, the cosine of theta, if you take whatever this angle is, if you take the cosine of that, that gives you its distance out. It gives you its a value or x value. And if you take the sine, the sine is the opposite over adjacent, and the opposite is up. It gives you the this b, or we call it y value, right? So the cosine gives you the x, let's do that in this color, right? Cosine gives you the x coordinate, and the sine gives you the y coordinate. Cool. Um, all right, so let's try that out. Um, so if you're trying to find this sort of thing, right, if you're trying to find the location of P, if we know this angle that's been subtended, means swung across, the x value will be the cosine of that angle, and the sine will be the y value. So for instance, uh, let's let theta be 30. So let's call this a 30 degree angle. If you throw this in your calculator and say, hey, what's the uh, cosine of 30? If you're in degrees, it'll give you a certain value, which is 0.886, right? So it tells you 0.886. And the sine, it gives you 0 0.5. Uh, great. These have specific values that we'll talk about in a second. They're exact values. Um, and we'll figure out how to get that. But if you if you look at this piece, this is 0.8, this is 0.5, and that looks about right, right? This this uh, height. Oh, sorry, point. Sorry, 30 is 30 is out here, right? 30 is more like this. So this distance out is 0.8, and this distance up is 0.5, and that looks about right for a 30 degree angle. Great. Uh, you could do the same thing with pi sixths you'd have to switch your calculator to radians um, and do the same thing, right? But the, dis the, the location of that point, the x value would be the cosine of it, and the y value would be the cosine of the angle. Cool. Um, we can do the same thing with any angle in here, right? Regardless of which direction we turned, uh, we could, this, this angle here is, uh, let's, let's call it 330. So if you used 330, degrees and you plug that in your calculator, you could say, all right, well, I know that the location of this point is x comma y, the x is the cosine of 330, and you say cosine 330, and it spits out uh, this value, 0 0.866. Oh, interesting. It's the same value as this, which means it's the same distance down, right? Um, this angle is 30. If you go 330 around, all the way around is 360, so there's 30 missing. So what this means is these two are the same distance out, right? You go up and you get to that 30 degree angle that we were looking at here. If you go down, you get to 330, which is there. Um, 
the only thing that's going to be different if you plug 330 into your calculator for sine of 330, you should get negative 0 0.5, which makes sense because it's down 0.5 instead of up 0.5. Cool. Um, so what I want you to get out of that is that different angles can have the same x or y coordinate, or they can be negative, just depending on where they are. Um, and also check that you're in degrees or radians. If your angle is in radians, your calculator should be in radians. You hit the mode button, right, that button, and check it that it's in radians or degrees. Um, cool. Um, a piece that comes into play here and there is that uh, cosine squared and sine squared equals 1. That's because this is cosine, right? Cosine theta is this length. And this length is sine of, sine of theta. So really, you've just got a right triangle. And we're used to seeing a squared plus b squared equals c squared, just Pythagorean theorem. Uh, we know that one side squared, so cosine of theta squared. If you, if you do that, right, you can really just call this cosine squared of theta. That's the same way. It's the same thing. It's just a different way to write it. This is a little more elegant because you don't have parentheses. Uh, and so this is sine of theta squared, right? That's this side. So we'd say sine squared theta uh, should equal c squared. And c is the hypotenuse, which is 1, and 1 squared is 1. So that's where this piece comes from. We'll use this in proofs later, but um, yeah. So also they say that like cosine's got to be between negative 1 and 1, that's because like the radius only goes up to positive 1 and only goes down to negative 1. So the x values, these are the x's, they only go between 1 and negative 1. Um, same thing for the sine. The sine goes up to the maximum for the sine is positive 1 and the minimum is negative 1 because that's our radius is 1, right? So that's the x value maximum and minimum is 1 as well. All right, fine. Okay, so let's look at some special angles to figure out where these exact points are on the unit circle. Um, we know that from our special angles from yesterday, we found out that the hypotenuse of a 45-45 right triangle um, is really root to the length of the short side. Um, here our hypotenuse is 1, so if you plug in 1 for that and you simplify, you end up with s, the short side, should be root 2 over 2. Right? We looked at that yesterday. Um, and so that's where this piece comes from, right? That's where this length and this length comes from. Also, we looked at uh, yesterday with the 30-60-90 triangle that the hypotenuse was double the length of the shortest side. Here's the shortest side. Here's the hypotenuse. So if you had a hypotenuse of 1, the, if, right, this, in a unit circle, the hypotenuse, the radius is 1. So then the, it's, that's double the short side, so the short side should be half. right? That's where this comes from. And we also figured out that the long side was really root 3 times the short side. The short side's a half, so half times root 3 is root 3 over 2. Um, so that's where these pieces come from. All right, great. Let's take that and apply it to the unit circle. Uh, we're going to pretend that we didn't see this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, great. Um, if we're trying to find the x and y locations for this spot, for this point, uh, the x is just this distance out, right? Um, which is really just the cosine of theta, right? So, so the x value is the cosine of theta. Um, that length, if we're in a 30-60, this is a 30-degree angle, if we're in a 30-60-90 right triangle, no, oh, that's not the one, that's the one, right? These are the same, these are the same triangles. This hypotenuse is one, this hypotenuse is one. Man, my lines are awful. Um, and so this length should be root 3 over 2, right? That's the distance out. That's this distance. It's just cosine of 30. Um, and so... The cosine of 30 should be, x should be, root 3 over 2, right? So that's x. That's also the cosine of 30. It's whatever you want to call it. Those, those are the same things, right? 
So that x value that we just scribbled out right there is root 3 over 2 here because it's that far out away from the origin. Um, likewise, the distance up, the y value, is just the, how, uh, the, the height above the x-axis. It's, it's this distance up. So it should be half, right? So that's where this half comes from. Um, and so therefore the sine of theta, also known as the y value, is one half. Cool? So there, there's that piece. Um, let's look at that with a 60 degree angle. Right, 60 degree triangle. Uh, if we do the same thing there, let me delete some of these. Oh. If we do the same thing there, but we turn this triangle uh, around, it's it's basically this same triangle. It's just in a different orientation. So let's see if we can, uh, let's up, down, right? There we go. So I know it's a little bit backwards looking, but there's our 60 degree angle down here. If this is a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and all the same pieces are there. Um, but now this length is the longer of those two, right? It's from the 30 degree angle, it's the uh, root three over two side. So this point, the y value is root three over two, and the x value is the half. Right, because it's only half over. Here, the short side was a half, and the long side was root 3 over 2. In this new one, the long side is still root 3 over 2, and the short side is still half, but they're just sort of flipped around. So you really don't have to memorize that much stuff. Um, hopefully it kind of makes, makes sense where those points are. Um, great, so there's a 30 and a 60. Let's look at a 45, 45 right triangle. Um, if you took this same thing, let's get rid of all this mess. If you took the same thing and you were looking at an angle that was uh, 45 degrees, these don't stand anymore. Now we're looking at this triangle, right? And you know that this hypotenuse is one, so each of these legs should be equal and they should both be root 2, right? So how far out is this point? Well, it's root 2 over 2 out. And how far up is this point? Well, it's root 2 over 2 up. Cool? Um, and same thing, even if you had your right triangle was down here, right? Move it up. Move it up. Even if your right triangle was sitting over here, uh, so this angle would be 45, right? This point on the circle would be root 2 over 2 over, but negative root 2 over 2 up, right? It's down root 2 over 2. But it's the same thing. It's still a similar triangle. It's just flipped over. All right, so I'm assuming that you've seen some of that. Uh, but here are all the values in Glorious Technicolor. Um, and you'll notice that they're all the same. Right, here's a 30, 60, 90. This triangle is root 3 over 2 out and 1 half up. This 60 degree triangle is the same triangle, right? It's just in, the short side here is the up and the short side here is the over, right? So it's half, this, this one is half up and this one is half over but they're just sort of flipped around right the uh, the values are flipped around this this long side is root 3 over 2 up and this long side is root 3 over 2 over the triangles exist in, in other spots right they exist over here like that and this point is half up just like this one's half up they're at the same height but uh, it's the same distance over, root 3 over 2 over, but it's backwards, root 3 over 2 over. So that's why it's negative right there, right? Same thing with this triangle, like that. So 
you can find the exact values for all of those. They're all the same values. They're just flipped around and made negative or positive. Um, the other thing that's uh, fairly straightforward about it is this point is 0 over and 1 up because 1 is the highest you can go, right? Uh, for a radius, is, that's straight up, so none over and all up. This is backwards 1 and none up. This was is none over and down one. And this is one over and zero up. All right. Um, okay, so there's kind of the basics of uh, uh, the, the unit circle. Um, I assume that you've seen them, but if you need more help with this, we can we can iron it out a little bit more. Uh, the tangent is a little bit uh, more convoluted, but not too much more. Really, the tangent is the a tangent of an angle is the opposite over the adjacent. So in this case, this would be b over a, b is really the y value, right, or the sine of theta, and the a, the adjacent, is really the x value, or the cosine of theta. So you're talking about the tangent uh, of an angle, if you're talking about tangent of this, you're really talking about the sine over the cosine. Right, it, you're talking about tangent is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is this one. Adjacent is this one. So it's sine over cosine. So this is uh, just a fundamental property of trigonometry that tangent is sine over cosine. And if you plug into your calculator, tangent of 30 gives you in your calculator gives you 0 0.577 blah blah blah. Right. Well, we know the. Uh, let's see. We use ten. So, so we know this should be the sine of thirty divided by the cosine of thirty. And the sine of thirty is. Let's see. The sine of thirty is the. This is a low angle, so the sine is the half, and the cosine is the root three over two. Right. If you think about them like this, one half divided by root 3 over 2. You divide fractions by flipping, inverting the second one and multiplying. Like that. Um, so the 2's cancel out and you're left with 1 over root 3, which simplifies to root 3 over 3, which is an exact value. So tangent of 30 should be root 3 over 3, and if you plug it into your calculator, root 3 over 3, you get the same value. Sweet. All right, so this this is 0 0.557, or 0 0.577, but it's exact, right? So if you look at these, uh, the tangent of this is root 3 over 3. So what's the tangent of this guy, right? It should be the same thing, but negative. Um, these are pretty straightforward because the tangent is the tangent is the sine divided by the cosine, right? So the tangent of this should be 0 divided by 1. The tangent should be 0. Same thing over here. Tangent should be 0. This, if you, if you look at the uh, sine divided by the cosine, right? Green divided by, this is 1 divided by 0. And it doesn't make sense to divide by 0, right? So the tangent of a 90 degree angle is undefined, and if you ask it nicely, say tangent of 90, it says no way, right? It says error. Um, because the tangent of 90 doesn't make sense, you're dividing by a negative, so that's why it's undefined there. Um, these are straightforward because tangent is sine divided by cosine. They're the same thing, so the tangent should be 1. Same thing over here, tangent should be 1, but one of these was negative, so it's negative 1. And then these are the same sort of thing as we did with um, with this negative root 3 over 3, only it's slightly different uh, in that you're dividing sine root 3 over 2 divided by the cosine. Cosine here is half because it's not very far out. So that's divided by a half. You invert the set and, and multiply 
Okay, you invert the second one and multiply, so this becomes 2 over 1. The 2's cancel out, and so this should just be root 3. So that's where this comes from. Tangent of 60 is root 3. Uh, the tangent of 120 is the same thing, except one of these was negative, so it becomes negative. Fine. All right. So hopefully um, there's not that you don't have to memorize too much more. This is one of these is root three over three. One of these is root three, and this one should make sense. These should make sense. These should make sense. These should make sense. These you might have to memorize. So you don't have to derive them a whole bunch of times. All right. So uh, there's also periodicity for the ratios, meaning that if you are trying to get back to this cosine which is a, right, so that your distance out is a. Uh, if you go, you know, angle theta, that'll get you to a. Or also, if you go all the way around, and then back to theta, you'll get back to a. Right, so that's what these are saying. Same thing with, with sine. Cosine of theta is the same as saying cosine of theta plus all the way around, or a multiple thereof. Uh, added to that angle. So that's one way to get back to that same spot that you were at originally. Another way to do that is uh, to look at just the signs. So I know that A is the cosine, and so they'll have the same cosine if you're down here, right, at A. So this distance is the same for 30 as it is for negative 30. Right. Another way to say negative 30 is positive 330. Oops. So these cosine, the sines and cosines will repeat themselves just depending on where you are. And if you think about the unit circle, um, that'll work itself out. So we'll try some problems together and maybe get your hands on this a little bit more. Um, when we meet next, we're going to work on uh, the page from your packet, which is a little more theoretical than these values, which is just kind of driving your calculator. Cool? Uh, I'll see you then.